Hi guys, this is John from Hey Little Joe and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today this video will be completely made in English because some of you have asked me so and because why not? For those who don't understand English, there will be French subtitles and the recipe we are going to talk about today will be the vegan version of the Vietnamese crispy spin rolls called Jaiyo. So let's get started! For this recipe you'll need 100 grams of mung bean vermicelli Half an onion, one cup of taro, something like 300 grams, one cup of carrot, something like 300 grams, four dried shiitake mushroom, 60 grams of wood ear mushroom, three cloves of garlic, three shallot, one firm tofu, which is something like 200 grams, one pack of rice paper, two teaspoons of salt, and half teaspoon of pepper. So first, we're going to moisturize all the dried ingredients. So put the dried woody ear mushroom in a bowl and add some hot boiling water and cover them and let it soak for 30 minutes. Do the same thing with the shiitake mushroom, let it soak for 30 minutes. For the mung bean vermicelli, do the same thing, however, keep in mind that it takes only 5 minutes to soften. So do this step later, so your vermicelli won't be too soft and keep the texture. For the shallot, chop and mince them. Same thing for the onion. For the garlic, smash to peel off the skin. Cut into half and take off the germ. And mince them. For the tofu, we are going to cut into thin strips. And do the same thing for the carrots. For the taro, it's too hard to turn into thin strips, so wrapping is fine. Now, 30 minutes passed, drain the earwood mushroom and chop them. Drain the shiitake mushroom and cut it to strips. But first of all, take off the stems. If you feel that the shiitake mushroom are not enough moisturized, you can soak them back inside the bowl and add some boiling water. The vermicelli are now done, so just drain them and cut them into 1 inch long 
I just used scissor to cut them. Now that all ingredients are prepared, combine them in the large bowl. So add tofu, carrots, taro, earwood mushroom, shiitake mushroom, onion, shallots, garlic, mung bean vermicelli, salt, and pepper and mix with your hand now we are done so let's prepare the rolls take a towel that you have previously wet so the rice paper won't stick and so you can work easier take a large bowl and add some very hot water Take a piece of rice paper and soak it into the hot water for 5 seconds. This will soften the rice paper. Now place the rice paper on the towel and put the full tablespoon of the mixture and roll it like a cigar. So take the bottom edge and roll over the ingredients. The thing you need to care at this point is that you need to press it back and roll firmly. It should be firm and tight. If it has air inside, the roll will grow when fry it. Now flip the side on the center and roll. Your Vietnamese spring rolls are ready to be fried. To fry them is very easy. Add the oil to your pan and turn the heat into high heat. You know that the temperature is ok when you see bubbles when you put your bumble chopstick inside. Now put your rolls inside and wait for 2 minutes. After 2 minutes just flip them and just fry for 2 more minutes. Don't put too many rolls at the same time because they will stick together and then can grow and you don't want that After 4 minutes, your rolls are ready and you can eat them or you can frit them at this point. However, if you want to eat them now, they won't be crunchy enough. So, I recommend you to fry them for 4 more minutes, 2 minutes each side and you'll see the difference, they will be more crunchy, much more longer. Now your rolls are ready, crunchy and very delicious. So this is my vegan Vietnamese crunchy spring rolls and I wish you a bon appétit, enjoy! So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, this is a very tasty one, so if you ever try it, don't forget to leave a comment below, just let me know what you think about it. And of course, this is a Vietnamese dish that you can share with your friends and your family and have a very good time. If you like my video, don't forget to leave me a big thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and see you next time, love you, see you, bye!